It's happening, friends. Customers are already buying for the holiday season and businesses are already preparing to rock their sales this year. Yes, even in the summer. This means you need to plan and prep for the holiday season now. That's why we are excited to bring you our totally free five-day Rock Your Holiday Promotions Challenge. It's a free five-day training where we will teach you how to plan and prep for the holiday sales so that you're prepared to skyrocket your sales for this holiday season. Thousands of product businesses took it last year and loved it. We had so many of you say you've never been so prepared in the history of your businesses for Black Friday and the Cyber Five. It was epic. So join us this year. It starts August 10th. Go to www.rockyourholidaypromotions.com and sign up now for free. Welcome to the Product Boss Podcast, where we help product-based businesses grow their sales and improve their strategies. Hey, everyone. I want to introduce you to my co-host and biz bestie, Mina Kunlo-Sita, an Amazon guru that has built a multi-six-figure product-based business. In introducing the other half of the product boss, Jacqueline Snyder, she has helped launch and grow over 500 fashion apparel and accessory brands, even one of her own. And together, we share our inventory of secret weapons that will help you dig deep and do the work it takes. Are you ready? Let's build together. Hey everybody, Jacqueline and Mina here, your co-hosts of the Product Boss Podcast. Today, we will be sharing a conversation we had with a fellow female founder. You see, we believe women helping women is what the world needs more of. Introducing our female founder episodes, where we interview fellow female entrepreneurs and highlight their small business. Our goal is to shine a spotlight on product businesses to encourage our community to support each other learn from each other, buy from each other, and lift each other up. So let's jump in. Okay. Welcome, Chelsea. So we have Chelsea Giles of Dome Doc on today, and we are going to talk about how her and her husband, John, have transformed their side hustle on Etsy to this booming family business where John has actually left his full-time job and is currently in the back making things because you guys cannot keep these in stock. So welcome to the podcast, Chelsea. Thanks so much. I'm so excited. We're excited to have you. So would you mind sharing with our audience what a dome doc is? So the dome doc originally started because John needed a solution for all of his baseball caps. So it's, it's a baseball cap storage solution. It hangs on your wall and you stack your baseball caps up in it. Mm -hmm. So tell us your tagline. I think it helps describe it perfectly. It's the hat rack reinvented. Yes. So if you see it, it's just a really cool, I actually have one in the house because we have all kinds of baseball caps. Can you show the audience? You have one behind you. So the, the Etsy one that we started making out of wood is this, this is the original design. And that's part of the story is turning from the handmade Etsy one that takes a long time to the one that we currently sell right here. Same function, different design. And that's, you can see it on the wall behind me too. And it's made out of plastic. This one is made out of plastic. Mm -hmm. Yes. And manufactured, not by John. Not by John. (laughs) John is is not making plastic ones back then. We are not a manufacturing company. (laughs) So tell us a little bit about your growth. Like when did you start Dome Doc? So we originally started selling the wooden ones in August of 2018 just at local farmers markets and that kind of thing. And then that December we put them on Etsy and we did Etsy all of last year and then started, we ran a Kickstarter campaign in October of last year to fund the injection mold. And so we, we started selling the plastic ones in January of this year of 2020. And did you have them manufactured already or were you pre-selling in January? We were not pre-selling. We had, when we did the Kickstarter campaign and we bought the mold and we bought our first batch of stock and we had that ready to sell. And that actually sold out in a month. And we thought, 
oh no, what are we going to do? That's so about the time you started working with us. I feel like. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Yeah. yeah. So how many in quantity did you have? How many units? We started with 2000 and our, our big goal, like our big crazy goal was to sell 2000 by the end of the year. The and end of 2020, the end of 2020 <laughs> and the, tw- and the 2000 was gone in literally four weeks. That's so amazing. Once we just, once we saw how quickly they were selling, we went ahead and put in another order for a bigger, we ordered 10,000, which was really scary to do. And then the day that they were supposed to start production, our manufacturer, which is in Michigan called us and said, Hey, we're shutting down for a few weeks for COVID. And we were dead in the water. We had no product. Oh, COVID. Oh, mm-hmm. COVID. And that's, that's when I hopped into the mastermind. Cause I was like, I don't know. We just started this business and I don't know what we're going to do. That's right. Cause we basically right at the beginning of the pandemic, there mm-hmm. were a lot of people reaching out to us saying, we don't know what to do with ourselves. And right. me and I were like, let's just do a three month COVID <laughs> COVID adapt and thrive mastermind. Yeah. Which because we wanted awesome. to support our community and you jumped mm-hmm. in because you were like, Hey, we have no product, but everybody right. wants it. Right. So tell us a little bit after that. So what happened with that 10,000? So the 10,000, well, it just, it was nothing. I mean, it, or we, we literally had nothing. And so we decided to do pre-sales on our website and we offered a, a little bit of a discount. I think it was like a 10% discount if you go ahead and order and we made it, we had a banner and you got in the confirmation email. It was very clear that this will not ship for, I think, I think originally we said like eight to 10 weeks. So, and then we sent several emails during that to, I think it ended up being like eight or 10 weeks, two months, two and a half months that we had no product. And we sent a couple of updates like, Hey, thanks for hanging in there with us. And we said, if you want to cancel, if it's been too long, we'll refund your money and not a single person asked for a refund. So, Mm -mm. so how many, how many did you pre-sell prior to being, because you have the 10,000 now, Mm -hmm. but how many did you pre-sell sort of before you knew it was a go again? We pre-sold 3000. Amazing. Yeah. That is awesome. Once we got, once we got those in, I'm really proud of us. We got them all fulfilled in four days. (laughs) Oh, and then I remember a mastermind hot seat was, should we outsource this to a fulfillment company (laughs) and look at you getting it done in four (laughs) days? We figured it out. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, part of our fear for you too, because you know, in our masterminds, we offer hot seats. And so we get, we really deep dive. So we already kind of are in, we're into your business. We know what's happening, but you get like a specific uh, question. And one of our fears for you was that we, we can't control outside sources right now. We can't control fulfillment centers. And you already kind of hit that with your production and your manufacturing. So you guys figured out how that you were going to do this on your own. I mean, she's right now got a ton of boxes behind her. They had to make all 3000 boxes to ship the dome docks in. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What well, didn't, did you know about the label maker? I was, yeah, the, one, yeah, yes. I mm-hmm. was the one that was telling y'all about the, the label, maker. label maker. Cause yeah. we had a label maker conversation. Cause we were just yeah. like, how do we make this the most efficient thing game ever? Right. The label because maker re- is a game changer. Yeah. Well, we knew you shouldn't outsource to the fulfillment company, which takes a cut every single time they touch a product and ship. Right. But because you guys had already fulfilled 2000 on your own. So you had already done that. It was like, Mm -hmm. you could see the holes of what, how could I make this better? And then end up shipping out 3000, right? Yeah, it actually did it. The timing of it was, you know, in retrospect, it was perfect because we did get that first 2000 and it totally took over our house. Like there were boxes on the kitchen table and there was boxes in the bedrooms and there was boxes in the garage. It was just chaos. And then we got, we got all of it gone and no product in. And we were like, we can't do that again. Like we can't do that again. So we actually turned this front bedroom into the fulfillment center, put the kids in one room. So they've got a bunk bed and we kind of decided we were going to contain the madness to this one room. And that was, and, you know, getting the label maker and getting just the, the whole system we had three months to talk about how we were going to make the system more efficient. So it it was actually really good timing. 
Yeah. We kind of talked about it as a blessing in disguise, because if you guys had had it and it happened so fast, John still was full-time, right? Right. Working Mm -hmm. full-time and all of these things that you kind of needed to piece together and take your time to make kind of perfect. Mm -hmm. You actually had this forced time, but I mean, look at you guys now. So John quit his job and is a full-time, well, he's right now a production worker. (laughs) Sounds like You don't quit your full-time job to not work. It's like we're working more than, Uh you know, than when he was there, but your work just changes. And that's because you guys are still doing Etsy as well as the manufactured plastic ones. So John right now is working on the wood version and that yet you're still selling both of those. So it'll be interesting to see as you guys grow, which one is the right margin with the right time and how you guys want your life to look. Cause that might not always be forever what you guys do. Right. Well, that's, that's really the goal is to move away from making the wooden ones because they are really time intensive and we would rather be, I mean, we've been sold out on Etsy for probably since before father's day, um, probably two months. And we haven't had time to make more because we're in here packing boxes every day. So you know, it, and it's hard to get away from something that's comfortable. Like we know we can put them on Etsy and we know we're going to sell them. We know we've got, you know, fans on there that are waiting for them to come out. So it's hard to let go of that and then just fully jump into the plastic ones. So we'll bring that up in our next uh, hot seat. That might be something we need to talk about. (laughs) But I will say though, one of the things that we for the idea of getting through COVID together and you guys having your manufacturer kind of just shut down and there was no cash, right? Because you were trying to pre-sell, but there was no product. And so one of the things we talked about was getting back on Etsy. So what could you do right then, right now, sort of like your cash injection. And that's when Mm -hmm. you guys made the wood because you could control it. So I think the next step will be sort of if the wood is preferential or if it's a part of your business, Mm -hmm. then we talked about being a higher price point and then maybe John's not the one making them. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about that. Yeah. We'll talk, we'll, we'll we'll get into all that later. Uh And speaking about growth, right. You guys really had, would you say a record month last month then? June was for sure a record month. I I think it's a good gift item for men. So father's day was yeah, a record month. So we don't have to say exact numbers, but what's the multiplication times amount that you've like in like your revenue from what you did last year to this year? Is it four or five times? Uh, well, times? it's five yeah. times what they did in their first year, what they did in their first, this in, mo- last in month. month. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, so Which is from, according to Mina math. It is. That's right. Right. <laughs> yeah. About, about five times what we were doing for the year on Etsy, what we did last month, last month. And then this is, and it's, it's multi figures guys. So it's unbelievable. And I think, and then Chelsea hadn't really sat down and really like, I think we get caught up in the work that even me and I yesterday were like, we need to sit back for a second and celebrate our numbers or celebrate like these little wins that we have, or just take a minute because we all get so caught up in working or like all the pivoting that's needed to happen and all that. So congratulations on you guys. Thank you. I mean, took the, you took a risk. You both went full into this full time and the proof is the proof is in the numbers and the product. Yeah. It's been, um, it's been beyond what we had dreamed for it for sure. It's kind of taken us by surprise. There's been several points at several points when we were, you know, doing just Etsy, we'd be out in the shop after work, after kids are put to bed, it's dark, it's cold, we're tired. And we're like, making these wooden things to sell on Etsy. And we're like, what are we doing? Like, what is this? What are we even doing? This is so much work. This is not what we want to be doing with our time. And to go from that to where we are now, it's like, I'm so glad that we just decided to keep going because it's just turned into this huge blessing for our family. Yeah, that's amazing. And I mean, really, you guys, when you first started with us, we were talking about your options, right? plan B would be a different manufacturer, plan C, plan D, um, really finding those. You guys are actually one of those options. You're one of the manufacturers. You're the manufacturer of the, well, John, he's the manufacturer right. of the wood right. ones. Right. Um, and it's so exciting to see that because even in 2020, where all these things are happening, you guys are really building in 
real contingency plans, right? Here's what we need to do when this happens. Here's, you know, we even saw that I actually moved my daughters into the same room as well. So no matter what, even if we weren't growing this business or having the front room turn into production room, which is a lot of what happened, honestly, you know, even with our other clients, they had to move things home. And then what happens with the kids or what happens with the husband. And so it's really awesome to see you guys come together as a family unit and really make big, big goals and and see that really happen for yourself. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun and challenging. I mean, all four of us are just here. We have a seven-year-old and a three-year-old. And so the four of us are just in this house with each other all day long. And we all, we really like each other, but it's been it's been challenging for sure to have, but the kids are, the kids are great. I mean, our seven-year-old comes in and slaps labels on and stuffs boxes and stuff with us. So it's cool to get to teach them a little bit about this is the work that we do. And this is what hard work will get you and kind of setting goals and letting them see the whole process has been really fun and hard. (laughs) Oh, yes. I mean, very. And the, and the quantity in which you guys are doing this, but you really right. did. You scaled your handmade business and you guys weren't so attached to the idea that it had to be made by you and that you saw that this specific product, if you sort of worked it out, that you were able to scale it to this point that right now, yes, we're in a time of COVID. It is not an easy time to sort of grow in the, the typical ways that we're used to. So you guys are doing the best you can, which is pretty amazing. Mm-hmm. And the results are pretty amazing. And um, I love that you, you, you saw the, you saw that. And I mean, even influencers are reaching out to you to purchase from you. Yeah. That's been, I think because at the heart of it, the dome doc is a solution for a really common problem. Like you don't really know that you need it until you see it. And you're like, Oh my gosh, where's that been all my life. And so as we've gotten more vocal on Instagram and Facebook, several influencers have reached out and asked if they could talk about our product. And that's been not, I didn't anticipate that either, you know, so that's been neat getting to learn how to work with people on Instagram and what exactly that means and what we're supposed to do and what they do. That's been really fun too. Right. And I guess the thing that I saw with, with two was that there's just a lot of different markets. There's influencers that wear certain hats for fashion and style. There's the dads that need it. There's also sports families. My sister is a sports mom and she keeps all of her son's hats. She's not going to throw them away. So it's like getting to be a lot um, because he plays baseball every year, you know? Mm -hmm. And so I love that for you guys. Where do you guys see your business going? Our goal is, I think we eventually want to get onto Amazon would be really cool because then that's less fulfillment that we have to do in a huge market. So that's kind of, and that's, that's part of what's hard right now about post COVID life is just kind of what, what are our goals? Because you can set goals and everything just changes every day, you know? So I think eventually we'd like to get to where we're not packing boxes every single day, you know, maybe figuring out how to hire people. We do have one person that comes in every day and helps us pack boxes. So maybe figuring out how to not like not have our hands on the business all the time. So we can actually step away for a little bit. Get you guys um, a little bit more higher level and less of the right. Bees. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. So thank you so much for being on this. Would you mind sh- uh, sharing with our listeners how they can follow you, how they can buy from you and how they can share you? Yeah. So you can buy on domedoc.com. And if you go to Etsy, it's under Jowls Inspired. Um, I don't, I don't know if it'll show up as Dome Doc on Etsy and we're on Facebook and Instagram as Dome Doc. Amazing. Yeah. We'll put that all in the show notes. Yeah. Great. Thank you so much, Chelsea. We loved, loved, loved having you on here. Well, thank you so much guys. It was fun. Before you go, 2020 has been, well, you know, 2020, and we want you to be as prepared for the holiday season because it's the busiest and most profitable time of the year for product-based businesses. Did you know consumers spend billions of dollars from November to December? Are you ready to boost your sales for the holiday season? As product experts, our best advice is preparation is key for holiday profits. And of course, 
absolutely get help where you can. That's why we want to help you build your promotions set to sell so you can enjoy your pumpkin pie as your holiday sales roll in. We have an extra special five day live training coming to you August 10th. Rock your holiday promotions. Videos get delivered straight to your inbox and it's absolutely free. And it starts August 10th. So go to www.rockyourholidaypromotions.com and sign up now for free.